My name is Erica Kale, and I am a product sales rep for Sage Time. Today, we will be going over the Sage Time application. Sage Time is a cloud based solution. This means anywhere that you can access the web, you can access our system. Sage Time is a complete white label solution, meaning anywhere that shows the Sage Time logo or the Sage Time name can be replaced with your company logo, your company name. We can even update the colors to match your company colors. This can be completely branded as your own product. Each employee would have their own login credentials to access the system. The login as section is strictly for demo purposes only. It will not be displayed when the employee logs in. The highlighted section can be used as a bulletin board. If you wanted to display messages to the employees as they log in, you can update that accordingly. Sage Time offers multiple profile options for employees to collect time. We will begin with the timestamp. Upon login, the employee will be given the option to select from a clock in or clock out. The profile can even be configured to collect additional data such as labor or even tips. I simply enter the amount and I can even leave a comment. Each profile includes a post-it note that allows the employee to leave a permanent note on the time card. Our next timesheet profile is the bulk hours. This profile allows the employee to track total number of hours worked. These can even be split amongst multiple levels of labor. Our last timesheet profile is the start end. This profile allows the employee to log in and manually track hours. They can enter a start and stop time or just the total number of hours. Sage Time also offers an automated time off request feature. This looks the same for everyone. To access, you will go to My Account, My Time Off, Request. From here, I'm able to select from the available time off categories provided. I can choose to take a full day, partial days, or multiple days. Any of these features can be disabled. I also have the ability to leave a comment. Before I submit my request, I need to make sure that I have that time available. In the upper right hand corner, we are displaying the available balances in real time. From here, I can see that I have accrued 190 hours of vacation and I've taken eight. If I click on the taking column, it will show a breakdown of when those hours were used. I'm able to see my available balance as of right now, as well as anything scheduled for the future and anything pending approval. When I hit submit request at the bottom, an email notification is generated and sent to my manager. There can be up to five managers assigned to one employee. While the request is still pending, I can delete it by clicking the X at the bottom. Once it has been approved, it will place the hours on the time card and it will reduce the balance to reflect. Sage Time also offers a mobile alternative for collecting punches. From a smartphone or tablet, 
you will open an internet browser and go to your company specific link. This is a mobile site. It will have your logo and your name and each employee will have their own login credentials. Upon login, the first thing you will notice is the camera. This can be enabled to take a picture of the employee as they punch. The mobile site allows for up to five levels of labor. The employee can select from a dropdown or enter in a number that corresponds to that job. We can even collect additional information such as mileage or extra pay on the out punch. The mobile site also offers group punching. This feature allows for one employee to collect time for multiple employees. Each can be tracked with different levels of labor and can even track the mileage or extra pay. Each punch flows over to the individual time card. The mobile site also offers a bulk hours option. This allows the employee to log in and track total number of hours. Again, I have my levels of labor. I can select from down, enter in a number for a job, and enter my total number of hours worked. Back on the system, we will log in as an admin. When we log in as an admin, we are being brought to what is called our dashboard. And the dashboard allows you to see multiple reports from one quick view. The first report is the dot board. This will show who is currently on the clock. If the employee is clocked in, the icon will show red pointing down. Blue pointing to the left means the employee is clocked out. We are also showing a missing punch report that will show you any punches that need to be addressed. To correct the punch, you will click on the open timesheet icon, which then takes you to the time card where you can make your adjustments. Click Save, and then Previous Screen. This takes you to your dashboard, and you will see that that report has been updated in real time. The next report is a nice pie chart showing how your hours are allocated. It looks like 96% of your time is going to regular, and 4% is going to overtime. When the manager receives the notification that a time off has been requested, they will log in and click the green flag to approve or the red flag to reject. The post-it note will display the comment that was left and the hourglass will display the available balances in real time. A nice feature is anything showing in blue with a number in parentheses means that more than one employee has requested the same day off. From here, I can see that Bonnie's time has already been approved and Casey's time is still pending. The timesheets can go through an approval process as well. From this view, the manager can review any pending time cards by clicking on the open or edit timesheet. Once the review is complete, Simply click the checkbox to the left and click Approve at the bottom. The last report we are showing is My Saved Reports. There are a number of canned reports within the system that you can go in and customize. These reports can be shared out with others, automatically emailed, or even exported out of the system. The dashboard is set up per user. If you want to change what is being displayed on the dashboard, simply click on the Edit Tabs icon. Then from here, you can drag and drop different reports.
Hit Save at the bottom and click Previous Screen. SageTime offers a number of great reports within the system. The first one we will go over is the Detailed Hours Overview. This is a great report because it allows you to see everyone's timesheet from one quick view. From here, we are able to see a start and stop time with a daily total at the bottom, weekly totals to the far right, and pay period totals to the far left. Missing punches are flagged with a question mark. To make an adjustment, simply click on the day and it will take you to the time card. You will make the adjustment, click Save, and then Previous Screen. This will take you back to the updated report. At the very bottom, you will see your pay period totals. These can even be broken out by labor. The next report that we will be going over is the Calculated Time Summary Report. This is a great report used to pull total hours out of the system. The nice thing with Sage Time is that you do not have to go through any type of report writer. You do not have to tell the system the fields you want to see ahead of time. All of our reports are customizable. The first thing you will choose is your dates. You can do a calendar range of this week or this month. You can run by specific dates or by your pay periods. This report is currently broken out by a level of labor called location. This will show a breakdown of each employee and each location worked, including individual hours, subtotals for each location, and grand totals at the very bottom. If you want to customize the report, you can click the X to remove the column. You can filter in ascending or descending order by clicking the up and down arrow. You can even search within the columns. If you want to add additional columns or change the layout, you will go to Tools and select Columns. From here, you can add just about every field in the system. You can search for columns by typing in the available columns box. Once you have the item you want to add, click the green arrow to move it to the right hand side. Here you can control where it shows in the report. You can even remove columns. Once complete, Hit Select Columns and the new report will be displayed. To save this report, you will go to Tools and Save Settings and give it a name. These reports can even be exported to a CSV, a true Excel file, PDF, HTML, or text. When you are ready to process the time for payroll, you will go to Manage Payroll, Manage Payrolls, Process and Export. This will bring you to a list of your pay periods. You will find the dates you want to process and click the dollar symbol to the left. This will bring you to a list of steps. These steps are more for your benefit than anything. They are not required to process. The first step is pending time off request. This report allows you to see any pending time offs that apply to that pay period. From here, you can check the box to the left and approve or reject at the bottom. 
Review timesheet status will make you aware of any missing punches or incomplete time entries. It also will make you aware if a manager has not approved their time cards yet. From here, I can see that manager Kathy still has three open time cards. As an admin, I can even do a level of approval by checking the box to the left and clicking approve at the bottom. You will always click on process records. This will go through and apply your rules to the time cards one last time. Review results will allow you to review the data one last time before creating the file to import into payroll. Once you have confirmed that the data is correct, you will click on previous screen and then on create payroll interface file. This will save a file to your computer. You will then log into payroll and you will import. This will populate the pay grid with the hours already broken out by earning code. You will simply make any final adjustments, pay out bonuses, commissions, or salaries, and then submit your payroll. I recommend that you lock the pay period when you are done. This just prevents any future modification to the time cards that you've already processed. Thank you.